Milo, my stray cat, dedicated to all the stray souls of the world. Poem by Donald Cohen, Ph.D. Story and illustrations by Gail Gleckler. From the wild you became my child. I'm so glad I found my stray cat. Just like that. Magical, mystical cat, Milo. Uh, the Milo story is amazing. My neighbor works at the vet. All the stray cats would go to her house. And all of a sudden the stray cat would come to my office every day for two weeks he came to my window. Milo was gray with a white bib, and he gazed. He just looked in my eyes, and it was like a gaze, like a soulmate just staring me in the eye and saying, I want to hang out with you. Milo was a muse for me. I started writing poetry when I was 45. I'm 59 now. Right after Milo came in, he just inspired me to write about his love that I was feeling. I just instantly fell in love with him, so the poem became a love story. And basically, I felt it just kind of just came to me, and I just wrote about, in a rhythmic way, uh, what the experience was of having Milo come into my life. So I call it my love poem to Milo. Milo, my love, my stray cat. We are joined together to the end. Stay with me forever. You are my best friend. Oh, a friend of ours uh, recommended Don Cohen as a family therapist, and Zach and I were going through uh, some uh, rough and tumble teenage years. The most wonderful thing was when we opened the door and there was this adorable cat, this gray, fluffy cat with a white bib. And uh, we've always had cats. We adopted cats and Zach grew up with them. So I think having Milo in therapy helped tremendously and I believed he had a PhD, I'm pretty sure. I didn't actually ever see the diploma, but I think so. But it really made us feel very comfortable, and uh, he became part of uh, our working process. I saw the poem on the wall, Don's wall, and I said, this poem, Milo Meister Cat, just a beautiful poem. And he said he was inspired when he first met Milo to write it. And I said, oh, it's fantastic. And he said, you know, I always wanted to turn it into a children's book. Uh, and knowing that I was an art director and an illustrator, he said, would you be interested in working on it with me? And I said, I'd love to. So it, we began the process. I did a poem an adaptation of Don's poem that was, um, you know, much more childlike, you know, more Seuss-like, I'd like to think. And um, and part of it was that it had to have drama. It just couldn't be, well, like this little boy adopted this cat. So the drama was he loses the cat. And, you know, when he loses him, he realizes how much he loves him. So he looks absolutely everywhere. He looks in the basement and in the attic and upstairs and everywhere and he can't find the cat. And, you know, he's so sad. And uh, so then, of course, when he finally does find the cat, uh, that discovery uh, makes the child listening to the book feel very happy, I think. It's Milo. Oh, wow. We're always worried, where's our kid in the grocery store? Where's my girlfriend? Where's my boyfriend? Uh, where's my cat? Uh, so many times my cats have gone down there. Milo's a house cat. So it captures the, the essence of attachment and love and loss and separation and the coming back together and the trust in what really is if you love somebody and they love you, nothing in the end gets in the way. Hi. 
you know, you can go to a pet store and buy a pedigree uh, cat, but you could also adopt one. And I think that learning a child to learn the value in adopting these pets that need homes, that that's really such an important part of life. And to also, once you adopt them, love them and take care of them. So you learn how to care for something they love. And um, just as a personal note, I happened to be adopted, so I thought that it was an interesting thing for uh, parents to talk about adopting an animal into their home. Um, but also, perhaps if they have a child, a biological child, and they want to adopt a new baby, what a wonderful way to say, oh wow, look, like Milo, we could adopt a baby. It probably won't come through the window, but you know. Milo taught me the importance. I now have a wider and much more, a deeper understanding of the attachment that pet owners have with their animals. And I now, which I never would have dreamed of, I am totally in love with cats. Not that I don't love dogs, horses, and all animals, but now I'm completely attached to the idea of looking at these animals as God's angels and wanting them always around me. Uh, and having cats, dogs, horses, it doesn't matter. They're, they give you a love that you can't get anywhere else.